Today we're going to work on putting fractions in simplest form or reducing them to simplest form. So I'm going to write a fraction up on the board real quickly. And there's 8 twelfths. And what we talked about doing in class today was first listing all the factors or pairs of factors for each number. So we'll start with 8 and I always like to start with 1 in the number and then we try 2 and we know that if it's an even number 2 is always going to be a factor. So 2 and I have to think about what goes with 2. What times 2 is 8 and I know it's 4. I can always use my multiplication chart and go down the 2's column until I get to 8 go across and I would see that 4 is the um, other factor. And then I know 3 is not a factor and then I get to 4 and so I'm all done already. So my factors for 8 are 1, 8, 2, and 4. For 12 I repeat the same process. I do 1 and 12, 1 in the number. Since it's an even number I know 2 is going to be a factor. So 2 and what times 2 is 12? It's 6. So 2 and 6. And then we learned a little trick to, to determine if 3 is a factor of a number. What we do is we add the two digits together, 1 and 2, and they add together to get 3. And then we ask ourselves, is 3 a multiple of 3? In other words, when I count by 3s, would I, would I say 3? And of course I do, I start with 3. So 3 must be a factor also. So I write 3 down, and I can use my chart if I need to, but what times 3 is 12, and the answer is 4. So I've got all my factors for 12 right there. And then I look at all my pairs of factors, and I ask myself, what is the greatest common factor? In other words, what is the largest factor in the numerator at the top that is also down at the bottom? And 8 is the biggest number on the top, but it's not down at the bottom. So 8's not the answer. The largest factor that's at the top that's also at the bottom is 4. So we've been circling the 4. And then it just becomes a division problem. I just take this 8 and I divide 8 by 4. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then I take 12 and I also divide 12 by 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then I kind of look at my fraction and say, does my answer make sense? If I had an even number on the top in the numerator and an even number in the bottom at a, as a denominator, I would know that my fraction is not yet in simplest form, that I could still divide both of them by 2 and reduce it further. But since 2 is a prime number and 3 is a prime number, and they wouldn't have any other factors besides 1 in common, I know that 2 thirds is in simplest form, and so 2 thirds is the answer.